Hi guys, we're going to jump right into this video on how to properly paint a mirror frame, beginning with the things you'll need. You're going to want to choose between spray paint or paint. Spray paint will have a seamless finish, whereas the paint will show the brush strokes regardless of how many strokes or coats you apply. Keep that in mind when choosing which medium you will use. The next thing we'll have coming out of the bag is fine grit sandpaper, a taping tool, a box cutter, some scissors, some scrap paper, some eye protection, painter's tape, a drop cloth or old boxes, something to store your paint in while using it, safety gloves, and some type of microfiber cloth. All right guys, so grab your cleaning supplies and let's get to it. As if you have anything sticky on the frame, vinegar is a great option to naturally remove it and something you might have sitting around your house during quarantine. We will be cleaning the mirror again after sanding, but this is a great time to make sure it's free of any dust particles. All right guys, let's move on to step two. We're going to get our sandpaper or sanding block and we're going to lightly sand this thing. You don't want to do it too rough, especially if it's not wood, but sanding is key as well because this is going to help the paint adhere to the surface, ultimately making your hard work last longer. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed the wear on the top right corner. This is a reused mirror that I found. I love reuse and I think it actually added more character. I wanted to fix it at first, but I couldn't because I'm in quarantine and it worked out perfect. Moving on to step three, we are going to remove any dust particles that have accumulated from sanding. You want to make sure it's clean before we move on to painting. So get your microfiber cloth and clean it. If you use anything wet, wait until it is completely dry to, to um, add any paint. I was struggling to remove all the dust, so I decided to lift the mirror up. I would recommend a handheld vacuum if you have it. It'd make it a lot easier to ensure all the particles are gone. All right guys, moving on to step four, we're gonna grab our scrap paper and our tape paint. The first thing we're gonna do is frame the mirror with the paper, making sure that there is a slight bit of room for the tape in between the mirror and the frame. You do not want the tape to touch the frame at all. Otherwise, what's gonna happen? That part of the frame's not gonna have paint on it. So be very careful with that. That's why I recommended having a box cutter because if any tape is touching the frame, you can simply cut it away with that cutter. All right, guys, now that we have our paper laid, we're gonna start taping. As a reminder, make sure none of that tape is touching the frame, but if it does, that's why we have the box cutter. I did notice some holes in this newspaper, so I would say be mindful of that and just cover them if necessary. I then used the taping tool to kind of secure the tape to the mirror to make sure it was just laying nice and flat. On the step four, prime and paint. I did have a two-in-one spray paint, so I did not have to prime. I was going from light to dark, so that made it a lot easier. This brand seemed to work rather well. After reading the directions, it said shake vigorously and in between use, so that's what I did. At that point, I was feeling the burn, so I took a moment to move all the things I didn't want paint on and sunbathe as I overlooked what would soon be my beautiful garden. All right, back to work. All right guys, so here you can see I am working in short sweeping motions to attain a smooth finish. I did not complete one side. I would work one and get a smooth finish on it and then move on to the next, doubling back until I reached my desired opacity. With paint, I would say you may want a layer to dry first before you move on to the next one and be a little cautious because you don't want to go too dark or too light. With black, it was pretty easy. I knew where I was going and I wasn't going to pass that place. The mirror is still very wet, but I think that I've reached my desired opacity. 
Now we're going to remove the tape and the paper from the frame. We wanna do this when it's wet to avoid any of the dry paint sticking to the tape and the frame and being removed later. Be extremely cautious though. You do not want any of the paper or the tape to touch the frame as it is still extremely wet. All right, I think this is the time when I should say, if you found this video helpful, like and subscribe. I'm currently on quarantine in New York City and I am in a new apartment. So you have many more videos just like this coming your way. I recently taped me hanging this mirror on a brick wall. If you wanna learn how to do that, follow the link.